before time began, there was water. We know not where it comes from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. For a time, we lived in harmony, but like all great power, it could be contaminated. And so began the war. A war for the sanitization of our water. We scatter the galaxy, hoping to find a way to clean our water. Searching every star, every world. And just when all hope seemed lost, a message of a new discovery drew us to a NASA spin-off, which uses bacteria to clean our water and save the world. When the International Space Station was first planned, astronauts would have to stay on the satellite for extended periods of time to conduct research, and thus it was agreed that finding a reliable water source was of utmost importance. Sending in new bottles of water would be extremely costly. If the average half litre bottle was to be priced on the International Space Station, it would cost approximately $20,000, due to the cost of fuel it would require to send in the water. Thus. NASA need to find a way for astronauts to get water without having to constantly send in more. This came in the form of the water recovery system, which utilized bacteria to remove impurities in any liquid and convert it into clean usable water. This allowed astronauts to recycle urine and shower water into drinking water. How water is converted is through use of genetically altered photosynthetic bacteria. By simply providing light to the bacteria, they can break down toxic chemicals in wastewater. The resulting fluid is then filtered and ready for reuse. NASA eventually decided to utilize the newfound methods to clean our water on Earth. These are only a few examples of its uses. The products have a wide variety of uses and are most commonly used to recycle wastewater in farms for livestock and plants. However, its true potential in saving the world has only recently come to light. In 2002, an oil spill occurred in Ecuador, poisoning the river and affecting the neighboring villages. Luckily, NASA technology was there to save the day. The bacteria was injected into the ground and through microbial processes, forced the oil to the surface. The oil was then captured by a boom. Whatever oil was still in the river after initial treatment was then remediated by another blend of natural microbes. Soon after, life began returning to the once afflicted area. It has also been used in the more recent Gulf of Mexico oil spill, helping in the cleanup process, utilizing the same methods as the oil spill in Ecuador. Thanks to NASA, an entire ecosystem has been saved. Had they not stepped in, the lives of much of the wildlife could have well been lost. NASA spin-offs truly have the power to save the world.